Hey everybody, this is Dion DeLotter with Martial Arts 411 Magazine and Fight Zone TV. I'm here with UFC fighter Leonard Garcia. Leonard, how are you today, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Not too bad, man. What brings you out here to Tampa? I see you guys got the big tap out bus. Yeah, you know, we're, we're out here with the uh, uh, tap out Metro PCS. We're uh, promoting this new phone. It's a uh, Huawei. Get a look at the phone, guys. Yeah, it's hot. Get a good look at it. Got the tap out things on the back. Got the tap out. Tap out everything, man. And, you know, it's a great phone. It, great service. Know, and uh, it's just a good phone to have. I tell you, I was talking to uh, Punk Ass and Skyscraper earlier. They, basically, anything that comes out, they like it. So I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a lot more coming out from the Tap Out product line. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, you know, anything them guys get behind, you know, it seems to do well. So, uh, you know, I'm excited to see how the phone does and everything else that they got. Excellent. Leonard, let me ask you a couple of questions about the fight with the uh, Korean Zombie. I know everybody wants to talk about that. Some great matches that you guys had. I know you lost the first one, I believe it was. You, yeah, right, yeah, so yeah. you won the first one, lost the second one. Now you guys are having the rubber match in Korea. Yeah. Yeah, well, Tell the fans what that's like. Um, you know, basically UFC, you know, is a great, great company to work for. And when you can have a tri trilogy with with a guy like that, of course, our, our first fight was a candidate for fight of the year. Um, I, right. I, I, I'm pretty sure we we're really, really close to winning. We lost to uh, Anderson Silva and Chael Sonnen, but our fight was way better. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, you know, we, we went back and forth. We had a great fight. Um, our second fight, I was beating him up, standing up. He was able to get me to the ground a couple times. Um, you know, he got a little tricky on me. He, he introduced a move to the UFC that nobody had ever seen before. I had never seen it before. It's called the Twister. You know, he, he did a great job. Um, you know, he, he got the upper hand that night. But uh, now we're, you know, we're working towards a, a third fight, which, you know, all the people want to see. And he wants to do it. I want to do it. So, uh, you know, it only makes sense. He's come to the States twice to fight me. I think it's only fair that I go over to Korea and fight him down there. And, uh, you know, hopefully if I do enough interviews like this, he'll stand up with me this time, you know, and we'll give it a, a, a third time like we did the first time. Sound like a little call out there for a little stand-up warfare. Excellent. That's, that's exactly what it was. You know, I, I want to give the fans what they want to see every time I go out. And, uh, you know, I know he has the ability to do that. So. You know, if you're watching this somewhere, you know, come out and do it this next time around. But I tell you, our fans are going to be looking forward to watching the match. It's going to be highly anticipated. Everybody's looking forward to it. So we, we wish you the best. Thank Thanks you for coming out. Leonard? Thank you guys, man. I appreciate it.